All right, developing tonight, doctors say that three of those five children injured in yesterday's daycare crash in Frisco are home from the hospital. The other two dealing with some more serious injuries. A car, of course, crashed into a fence outside the daycare on Main and Teal yesterday afternoon. News 8's Monica Hernandez is live tonight. So, Monica, this is a very tough situation for all those families. And John, when you see this fence behind me, you can really see why that bent metal there, the caution tape, that car pushed it onto a group of toddlers coming in from recess. Uh, one of them is still in critical condition, and that has the whole community hurting too. Healing isn't always easy for kids who are hurt or the community around them. They're filling this daycare with flowers, coping the best they know how. That we're continuing to pray for them during this difficult time. The sign she made shows it. She's also praying for the 17 year old behind the wheel who reminds her of her own son. He's made a similar mistake, but there was a curb in front. This time the teen's dad was in the passenger seat. He says his son was about to head into the driving school across the street when he hit the gas instead of the brake. One teacher and five toddlers were hurt. Four of them rushed to Children's Hospital where Dr. Barry Hicks treated them. Um, primarily head injuries, um, kind of blunt force, cuts, bruises and some uh, concussion. One child is still in the ICU. The others are alert and talking, but doctors are going to keep a close eye on all of them even after they're released. Some concussions um, from this type of injury can still have um, long lasting effects. Seeing it happen can have lasting effects too. At the daycare, a crisis counselor is on hand for kids and teachers alike as they keep praying for a little boy in the ICU and a driver who is shaken and sorry. I talked with the daycare owner. She says that her heart goes out to the driver, too. She knows it was an accident. Uh, he doesn't face charges at this point. And I do want to point out that a similar accident in Florida got laws changed there. In fact, now daycares there are required to have concrete barriers outside. You see those are not outside this daycare. The owner says she doesn't plan to put them there because this daycare is not located directly on the street. Uh, by the way, that fence is slated to be fixed this weekend. In Frisco, Monica Hernandez. Channel 8 News. All right, Mike.